Hello you guys and welcome to the channel. Today I am sharing what's in my Disney diaper bag for two toddlers. I have one still in diapers and one recently potty trained so we are in a whole new territory but I want to share with you what I have in my diaper bag for a fantastic day at the Disney parks. So let's jump into all the things. For those of you that are new here my name is Ashley and my channel is called Pixie Dusted Mom and I love sharing all of my tips, tricks, and hacks for taking a toddler to Disney, traveling with a baby as well as our Disney vlog adventures along the way. So if that is content that you're interested in, you'll want to go ahead and click the red subscribe button below. That way you can have some little pixie dusted magic in your subscription feed here on YouTube. Also, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below. It really does help to support the channel. And now let's jump into the bag. So this backpack diaper bag is actually from the company Petunia Pickle Bottom. If you've been around my channel for a minute at all, then you know I absolutely love this. So when they reached out and wanted to gift me this bag as well as some organizational goodies for the inside, I said yes. I did a happy dance. I squealed like a little girl. I was so excited to have this opportunity, but I wanted to show you this bag because it is so, so cute and it is from their new Disney Pixar collection. So it is featuring all of the gang from Toy Story as well as Monsters Inc. and Finding Nemo with Dory and some other little pals on there as well. So super cute bag. And so we will be jumping into that and all of the goodies. This is their Ace style and it is absolutely my favorite Petunia Pickle Bag diaper bag style. It has lots of pockets, lots of organization. So if you are looking for that in a great Disney park bag to keep you organized throughout the crazy busy days that can be Disney park days, then you'll definitely want to check this out if you haven't already. I will have a link to it in the description box below as well as a coupon code for 15% off. It is good through September 27th of 2022. So depending on when you're seeing this, but that is when it is good for it. So go ahead, click the link, check out the bag, save a little bit of money. I love a good discount code. And so I wanted to share that with you guys for sure too, but let's jump into the organization and everything I keep in my Disney diaper bag. So this particular ace bag actually comes with this adorable little luggage tag that says, I love you to infinity and beyond, which I think is absolutely adorable. Then it also comes with this lovely little changing mat, which is a wipeable on one side and then the print of the inside of the diaper bag on the other side. Again, it is still very wipeable and washable. So I really, really enjoy both of these pieces that come with it. This is really helpful if you are a big changing pad person. I love that it comes with it as well as the fact that it actually even matches the inside of the bag is super, super cute. Now jumping straight into this main part of the diaper bag. I love that I can open it up and access so much of it with this large zipper here on the front. So the first thing I'm going to pull out here is my little charging bank. And so I keep this with me at all times. It is actually a solar powered charger and you can even do the um, wireless charging on this side. So I really love this little caddy that I keep with me as well as on this side. It has a little spot for all kinds of charging cables. I find this a lot easier. And so having a charger with you for your phone at Disney World is very, very critical. So this is a good option to have. And then this is my little diaper changing setup, which I love. And again, it is actually a Petunia Pickle Bottom product. I bought this one for myself, but I absolutely love it. And so you can pop the wipes in here. So it's a nice little wipes dispenser and you're not having to pull out multiple wipes because it just helps to really hold the pack into place, which I absolutely love. And then on the back side, it has these two little elastic straps here. So I can go ahead and attach a few diapers for the day. And so that really helps so much, but I love the fact that it has this little wristlet strap here. So as I'm having to carry a little girl or hold the other one's hand or whatever, since I have two toddlers to kind of wrangle through the parks, this makes it really easy and hands-free. So again, I will have this and everything I show linked in the description box below for you guys to check out. The next thing I keep in here are their snack cups. You cannot leave the house, the hotel room, whatever, without snacks for your toddlers. So right now these are empty just for filming the video, but I wanted to show you the exact ones that I use. I love these. They have lots of other characters. So if you have a different character that your little one loves, and so these are great for that. It comes with the smaller size here at the top, and then these two are one cup size measuring things. So if even if you're someone who wants to work on your portions and you don't want to eat too many snacks, then this is a really great option for that as well. 
So inside of the back of the diaper bag, I have a few more diapers here in case we decide to stay out longer than I have planned. And then this is a little pop out potty seat, which I also in this pack keep some Clorox wipes because hello, potty seat. If that's not self-explanatory enough, I don't know what is, but it just folds open like so. And so you can lay this on top of the potty and it works really great. I know for some little ones, it can be really intimidating to use a big potty. And so having something that fits their little bum a little bit better and a little more comfortably helps. And of course it is on brand with the Minnie Mouse style. So again, I will have that linked and the little bag that it is in is actually the bag that it came in. So I just keep that in there. So it is kind of keeping anything off of other items in the diaper bag but that is really handy and these for sanitary purposes purposes definitely get those in the next layer here of the diaper bag, you can see I have a little muslin swaddle blanket. This is great for a lot of different purposes. You can drape it over the stroller if you want to block out some sunlight, or if you are needing to put it down for letting your little one sit on or crawl on while you're waiting for fireworks, a parade, whatever the case is, this is great to have. And then here on the left side in one of the expandable little stretchy pockets over here, I have some little diaper rash spray. I absolutely love this stuff, it's amazing. And then I also keep our little sunglasses kit. And so this has a little microfiber cleaning cloth in it as well as some sunglasses cleaning spray. And this is so helpful because little fingers love to touch glasses. And and then next up over here, I have this little pixel. And this is actually one of the things from the Intermix system. I absolutely love it. And I'll show you the whole kit in a little bit. But this is one that I use for snacks. Now these are backup snacks. So say I forgot to pack something or whatever. These are like in case of an emergency kind of things. We're like about to melt down if we don't have a snack. I have this little reusable bag and it just has some Cheerios in it. And then I also have a couple of little yogurt pouches that don't need to be refrigerated, um, which are really great and handy. My girls love these. So whatever kid, whatever kind of snack your kid loves, I would have those. And then a few of the Z bars, we enjoy those as well. So I have those down in the bottom of that. And I have that whole little backup hangry snack kit in the bottom of the diaper bag for those just in case moments because sometimes we all get hangry. And these are really nice too because they have the little handle loops here so that's perfect and then the top of this is mesh so as you can see it is a little stretchy and forgiving since i do have quite a few things in here if you are of an overpacker and like to have some room these are really great for that and they have the cute little design on them as well The next cube I have in here is this one, as you can see. Again, same little design, but when I unzip this one, I have my girls change of clothes. I have a wet bag, a onesie for my youngest, and then a t-shirt and shorts for my three-year-old, and then a couple of pairs of backup undies because we are still freshly potty trained, so I like to have a backup just in case. Sometimes weights take longer or whatever, and accidents happen. You don't mean for them to, but they do. It's just part of life, but that is our little backup plan for if we have any accidents or someone gets dirty. And then last but not least, I have this little cube here and it is full of our little first aid kit items. So I have this little medicine container that has some Tylenol and things for my husband and I. I also keep the medicine a kind of pain reliever for my girls as well as two dispensers, one for each of them in there as well in case they needed anything. A little travel spray Neosporin. This stuff is amazing and really handy as well as I keep some band-aids, some liquid band-aid, as well as a few Dramamines. So if you have someone in your family who is motion sick like myself, that sometimes happens. And so I like to have all of that in here and ready to go in this little packing cube. And again, I love that these have the little handles on them. They're so perfect. And as you can see, all of those just fit perfectly along the bottom of this bag. I absolutely love that, that they will just fit right in there. And then when it comes to the blanket, I just kind of layer it like a lasagna right in there on top of it. And then I will just pack everything back in there the way it was when I got it out. And 
And then in this front pocket, which is actually really long, I keep this pack of wet ones. That way, if I need to wipe down any tables or trays or anything, then we have those on hand. I like to keep some pacifier wipes in there as well as a little bottle of spray hand sanitizer. I prefer the spray personally. It's just a little easier and less messy and not as sticky as some of the other sanitizers. So I will pop that all back in there. And this pocket is actually way deeper than you think it would be. And so it goes way down to almost here, if you can see that. And then in this very front pocket, it is a little bit expandable over here. Not a ton, but it is a little bit forgiving. And so I will keep a little Play-Doh in there. This is a quick way to occupy my toddler if I need to. A couple of little secure a toy straps. These are great for water bottles, toys, snack cups with handles, anything like that. And they will just snap on to the item and then onto the stroller and you are good to go. And your things aren't being thrown. And then I also like to keep three AA batteries in there for bubble wands, lights on the stroller, anything like that that needs new batteries, keep those handy. And then I also like to keep a few of these little Arm & Hammer diaper, dirty diaper trash bags in there. Sometimes you get messy, sometimes you need to pick up a bunch of garbage or something that your kid has kind of thrown about. So that is really helpful and good to have. And then on the outside of this bag, I like to keep their water bottles. I have one for this side and then one here on the other side of the bag. The great thing about this bag is they actually have insulated bottle pockets. So this is amazing. If you have two kids, it is invaluable to have these two exterior, easy to grab pockets. If you are a toddler mom, you know how critical that is. So having that is really nice. So be able to toss those in there and then spinning it around to the back. It has what I like to call a mommy pocket. I will either keep my wallet or anything else in there as well as this is nice and a soft line. So if you even wanted to put your phone or anything like that in there, it's not going to get scratched or damaged. So that is really, really helpful. And then here at the top, it has these little D rings for being able to clip it on to your stroller with their valet straps that you can get in addition to the bag. So that's really helpful as well. And then it has just the regular little handle strap here that is out of almost like a seat belt type material. And then these straps are what are really amazing about this bag. I don't know if you can see it, but they are like memory foam padded. They're super, super cushy. So if you are wearing this around on your back for hours and hours on end at Disney World, it is going to be a lot more comfortable. And so this is great for that all day. And then last but not least, I have our little reusable straw pouch here and it has a clip on this little bag. And so I just attach it to the D rings up here, but I love to keep these little silicone straws with us. If you don't learn anything else from this video, buy some of these straws and take them with you. And then this little guy is the rest of the Intermix system, which is what all of those little packing cubes came from. The two little ones that I have medicine and things in will go here. And then the one that I have the outfits in would go here if you wanted to use this all together is like a little caddy. So you can definitely do that. Or what I like to do is use this as a stroller caddy. So you can either use their valet clips here and you attach them to the D ring or if you have, depending on your stroller type, it comes with these little stroller attachments here. So you just feed it around the stroller handle and then through the loop like this, which is difficult to do one handed, but so you do it like that and then it just simply attaches that way. So it comes with those. So depending on your type of stroller and how the handle is, it may or may not work that way, but I love it because it is such a large caddy. So lots of room for drinks, sippy cups, things like that to go in it. And then in this center cube, that you can pull out. This is what I call my mealtime cube. So let me open this and show you what I have in there as well. So inside of this little cube is my mealtime bag. So I like to keep all of our bibs in there and I keep a couple of different sizes for the girls throughout the day. And so I will have just a traditional style bib here. It has the little catch. So any rogue food that is falling from their mouth will get caught in that most of the time. So I like to keep that one in there or I also have two of this size. So it's actually a short sleeve style bib. 
and so it wears like that. It's almost more like a smock or an apron style and so it gives a little bit more coverage for those really cute Disney outfits that you want to make sure to get a picture in. Again it has the little catch pockets down here on either side so any rogue food again is likely to be caught in that and not get on their outfit so I like to keep those in there. And then a random little snack bar just because sometimes the food takes longer and we have hangry kids. So we like to do that. And then I keep crayons in here for our disposable plate mats, which I am out of them, but I'm ordering them and having them shipped to our Disney resort. But I'll pop them up here on the screen so you can see they are actually a like coloring mat so your kids can color on it while they're waiting. Plus it's a nice little sanitary area for them to eat on. So I wanted to share that. And then I also keep these two little suction cups. This is the newer version version of this suction cup. This is an old one I've had forever, but this is the new version and you can stick your plate to this side, the table to this side, and it will not let them pull and throw the plate on the ground. So if you have a thrower, you're going to want one of these for sure. It's really helpful. And then for my youngest, I like to keep this little pop toy in there as well. It is a suction toy and it pops and spins. So it's really cool and keeps her occupied for quite some time. So that one is really neat. I keep a couple of forks in there if they need something a little simpler, if they are feeding themselves, and then a Tide pen, and again, some Play-Doh. So that is what I keep in my little mealtime bag. It's really handy to have, and then I can just grab it out of this, which is hanging on the stroller, take it into the restaurant, and we are set. Da -da. But that's what's in my Disney diaper bag. If you want to see what's in my mommy bag that I carry around all day, click on this video right over here and you can go over and check that out. Or if you're wanting to see more about how I deck out my Disney stroller and use a stroller caddy like so, then you can click on this video right over here and go watch that instead. But I'll see you somewhere. Bye guys.